Hi, this is Sanjay Ved, and uh, I have prepared this dashboard for the energy sector where uh, I have covered uh, the global energy dashboard. Uh, it represents various continents and countries across the world. So we have North America where uh, we have the uh, uh, US uh, and we see various companies in the US which are into the area of uh, energy. For example, Capstone Craft uh, is to biomass. Uh, then we see uh, you know other companies uh, within the region. We see another company, Puget Sound Energy, which is into primarily gas uh, and uh, has a capacity of uh, one hundred one thousand one eighty five megawatts. Uh, and uh, similarly, we see other companies. Uh, in the US mapped uh, as per the region where they are in. Similarly, we have Mexico, which has, uh, uh, you know, gas as a primary fuel with this particular company uh, having maximum capacity of 12,340 megawatts and uh, estimated generation capacity of 96,802 megawatts. Uh, Canada, again, we have uh, Hydropower being used as a primary fuel by them, and uh, you know the uh, capacity is 20,426, and uh, estimated generation capacity is 90,110, as uh, demonstrated here. Uh, so similarly, we have uh, other regions. Here, Russia uh, uses coal, uh, uses solar, hydropower with. Uh, uh, capacity with this particular company PJSC of 9002 megawatts and estimated generation capacity in 2017 of 29,252. Similarly, we look at Italy, uh, that uh, 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 country uses hydropower as a primary source of energy, uh, having uh, max capacity of uh, 13,294 megawatts. Uh, uh, they have estimated generation capacity in 2017 of 20,223. And there are obviously many countries within, if we drill down, we will drill down because our country of interest today is India. Norway has uh, been using hydropower uh, as their primary source, as we can see here. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have a uh, uh, capacity of 30,474 megawatts and estimated generation capacity of 116,868 uh, gigawatts in 2014. And let's uh, drill down to India, our country of interest today, and see how India has been doing uh, as far as energy needs are concerned. So India has coal. This is central India. India, if we go to the western part, Maharashtra, Gujarat, we see solar, uh, we go to Rajasthan, we see solar, coal central, uh, solar power, um, again solar power, solar power. It's quite diverse. We have uh, biomass as well in India uh, through sugar, Vishwanathan sugar mills, um, wind energy used, uh, then um, nuclear energy. Uh, also gets uh, utilized in India a lot uh, uh, given the fact uh, that we have nuclear plants. So this is some data of uh, Ministry of Finance, the investment by public sector. Uh, so the Minister of Finance have invested uh, hugely in NTPC, National Thermal Power. Uh, again, um, uh, you see 36,618 crore invested in 2019 and then 21,000 uh, in, by 2021. Uh, our grid again has a substantial investment by government, uh, 10,500 followed by N National Hydroelectrical Power and then Damodar Valley Corporation and then Satluj Vidyut Nigam. In terms of the finance allocated, uh, we see a trend where uh, 
for some reason it has come down a little bit it was 13,662 in 2019-20 it has come down to 11,926 uh, possibly due to COVID uh, reasons uh, they, they have offered the uh, ministry has offered a lot of loans to the power sectors as well for various power projects northeastern uh, electrical power has been allocated budgets nothing student power areas have been allocated budget uh, the uh, primary source of energy for india is thermal power and it has 236 gigawatts res is 114.4 gigawatts hydropower is 46.8 gigawatts and nuclear like being 6.8 gigawatts center uh, which is the federal sector provides 1 lakh 55000 155000 uh, 5500 lakh 155 155 1055 megawatts of power it is 24% of uh, the need been met uh, state uh, sector provide uh, 1 lakh 5,726 5, megawatts, uh, 5,726 uh, 5, megawatts, uh, which is contributing 25.4. Private sector contributes 2,10,278, 200, uh, 210,278 megawatts, which is 50.5% of India's need being met in terms of capacity. That's the micro level analysis uh, of uh, what this dashboard provides. Then we dig, dig a little deeper and go micro and uh, we have selected a uh, few companies which are uh, Jindal, Fortin, Reliance, uh, Adani and we're looking at their various ratios, look at the health of these companies and then to define how the sector as such is doing in terms of uh, growth and in terms of uh, health. So we have taken parameters of debt to equity ratio. What is the company's, uh, you know, depth uh, in terms of uh, their operations? And uh, we see that uh, Adani has the highest debt. Typically, anything between one and two, debt to equity ratio is okay. But this is one twenty five point one. Quite a lot of uh, depth for every uh, money they are uh, using. Um, rest of these companies have in the range of 1 to uh, you know, 1.5 to 2. So they are, they are okay it, as it comes to the debt equity ratio. But then we do get a quick ratio in terms of the ability to pay your liabilities. Uh, there again everybody is on the same board with similar uh, wave of ratios. Uh, so there, there, there is a parity of sorts. Asset turnover ratio is how well the company uses the asset and the outlier year is uh, Jindal in uh, the year 2022, this last year. They have done exceptionally well in terms of utilizing the assets while everybody else has done remarkably well as well. Uh, but we see uh, an exception case of Jindal followed by Torrent and then uh, by Adani. Uh, NTPC and Reliance uh, uh, have been consistently but not uh, as high net operation profit and margin uh, there we see uh, the losses incurred especially during the year 2019 and 2020 by most of these companies barring one company which is uh, uh, the torrent uh, rest uh, you know most companies and also NTPC uh, have not got losses in these years but rest of them and uh, possibly due to covid years they have suffered losses debtors and inventory turnover ratio in terms of uh, how soon you get paid by your debtors and how soon your inventory gets sold this is an analysis of this so more or less everybody has been uh, doing uh, the same ratio or similar ratio there is not big gap uh, here ntpc being little lower in some of these uh, ratios except acceptably so the uh, they being state power return on capital fund again uh, you know uh, reliance uh, jindal sorry has done exceptionally well in terms of return on capital um, and then followed by adani that's where they've done very well um, and then torrent uh, and reliance uh, as well as ntpc uh, have done okay as far as that is concerned 
uh, return capital is concerned. So this is a quick, uh, you know, snap in terms of uh, the um, the energy sector uh, and the power sector. I hope you like it. Thank you. Very